Hi Year 6 and welcome to Tuesday's reading lesson. The theme for this week's lesson is electricity and our first text today is about a man called James Chadwick. Who is he? Let's find out. Pause the video now and then go and read the first text. Read along with me. The video is on the Hug Clue YouTube channel and then come back and unpause for the rest of the lesson. Great. So now you've read, you know a bit more about who James Chadwick is. Now I must admit, the paper that you've just read had a lot of interesting vocabulary in and was quite technical. So don't worry if you didn't quite understand it all. You will by the end of the lesson. So here are your quick start questions. When was James Chadwick born? What did James Chadwick discover in 1932? What was invented that detected radiation levels? What material did James Chadwick use to discover the neutron? And why did James Chadwick win the Nobel Prize? I want you to write quick start in your books and then underneath the answer to these questions remember these are quick retrieval questions so we don't need to write in full sentences pause the video and then unpause when you're ready great let's have a look at the answers so he was born in 1891 in 1932 he discovered the neutron the giga counter was invented that detected radiation levels James used wax to discover the neutron and he won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of a neutron. Give yourself a tick for all those you got right. So let's have a look at some vocabulary that you might have read in that text. Well, you did read it in the text. So let's see what it means. Prestigious. If something is prestigious, then it inspires respect and admiration and it's got quite a high status. So it's well, well regarded, well respected. Chadwick was too shy to contradict him. So we've heard this word before in a couple of our texts, definitely the Charles Darwin one. Contradict means deny the truth by asserting the opposite. So it means you think different to somebody else. So Chadwick was too shy to contradict him, too shy to put him right, really. He won a scholarship. Now, remember before we looked at scholars where they had, there was those men in robes, so they were well-educated men. A scholarship is academic study or achievement learning at a high level. And if you can some, do something really well, sometimes a grant or payment is made to support a student's education based on the, his academic or other achievements. So because James was really good at his physics, he won a scholarship. Someone paid for him to attend his education. Feverish, feverishly. So it can be two ways here. So in a manner that shows the symptoms of a fever or in a frenetically excited or energetic ma manner. So in this, in the sentence that this was in, it would be an excited or energetic ma manner. Because it was where James was thought that he knew how to discover the neutron. So our first individual thinking question which school did James Chadwick go to? So this is the paragraph where we will be able to find the answer to this question. Pause the video, answer the question and then unpause for us to discuss. OK, let's look at the answer to this question. His parents were Joseph, a railway storekeeper and Anna, domestic servant. When he was 11, James won entry to the prestigious Manchester Grammar School. Did anybody put Manchester Grammar School as the answer? If you did, unfortunately, that is wrong because it, we carry on to say, unfortunately, his parents were too poor to afford the school fees. So instead, he went to Manchester's Central Grammar School. So that should be answer, answer. Manchester's Central Grammar School for boys. Partnered talk then. He had intended to study in mathematics, but was interviewed by a physicist who assumed he wanted to study physics. Chadwick was too shy to contradict him, so he ended up enrolling as a physics major. So we looked at this word, contradict, before, and we know that it means he was too shy to, to put him right or tell him that he was wrong. So he ended up enrolling as a physics major. So it tells us that he's shy, and it also tells me that he's not very outspoken. He doesn't want to upset people, he just went along with it. individual thinking then he always went without lunch money because he had so he always went without lunch because he had so little money what can we learn about James Chadwick here pause the video and then unpause to discuss the answer 
Great, so now you've written your answers, I wonder what you put. So first of all, it, we learn that James was poor. He didn't have any money. But what we also can take from this is that he still learned, he still was educated and he still went to university, even though he had little money. That tells me that he was quite determined and he had his, he had a vision of what he wanted to do. And he would even struggle to survive to reach his goal. So it, it tells me he's a determined person too. What did you put? He was interned in a camp until the end of World War One. Why would James Chadwick have been interned in a camp? So first of all, let's have a look what this word means. Confine as a prisoner, especially for political or military reasons. So it was in World War One, and he was put in a camp. Pause the video and I want you to put, give the answer as to why you think he will have been interned in a camp. So what do you think? I think he will have been inter interned in a camp because he wasn't from Germany. He was young and he was from England and he would have been in interned in a camp because he wasn't on their side. So your solo task for today is to look at this paragraph. To also use a bit of empathy and put yourself in someone else's shoes. And what of the Joliet Curies? If only they had interpreted their results correctly, they might have discovered the neutron themselves. In fact, Frederick and Irene Joliet Curie also received a Nobel Prize in 1935 for chemistry. They were the first people to create new synthetic radioactive elements. And what I want you to think about is, do you think the Joliet Curies would have been resentful of James Chadwick? Why do you think this? And would it have been fair for them to have resented him? Let's have a look at the first part. Do you think the Joliet Curies would have been resentful? So they could be feel resentful because they were the ones who could have discovered the neuron them, neutron themselves because they were nearly there. They might not be resentful because they won a Nobel Peace Prize too. The Nobel Prize too. So that that might have lessened their resentment. Would it have been fair for them to have resented him? Well, I'm going to leave that up to you. What do you think? So first of all, do you think they would have been resentful? Why do you think they would have been resentful? And would it have been fair? So a good three or four sentences to answer this question. Use evidence from the text to back up your answer. See you tomorrow. Bye.